Welcome back to Game of Fixation. We are going to take a really, hopefully, quick... Oh, it's like those... <gasps> it's... Yeah, with dangerous cliffs. Planning to go farther? Better learn how to fly. <laughs> it looks Shut like the head, you know, in the Star Wars Episode 2 with on what? the ice planet of Hoth, uh, the creature that they slice open and sleep yeah. inside, which I should know the name of. Okay. <laughs> smell worse on the outside, or smells better on the outside? Uh, I thought, worse on the outside. I thought these things smell bad. Oh, on, on the, the outside. outside. Yeah. Anyways, that thing that he kills, that thing looks like he has his head but what, on a the, human that body. That old man? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I think it does. Like, the horns are kind of dissimilar shape, and the fact that it's all furry because of his beard, it made me think of them. And I really should know what they're called, and I feel ashamed that I don't. I'm ashamed of you, too. Yeah. Um, I mean, the fifth, really. fifth movie is, like, my favorite, so it's like, I should know. Really? Yeah. Huh. Because it has a lot of Darth Vader in uh, it, Of course. And that makes that, that would be the reason why. Yeah. It also has uh, the first sh scene with him uh, not in his helmet. That doesn't make but me as happy, But it doesn't show his but, face, yeah. of course. So is it... Uh, okay, is, is Vader only cool... When he has his helmet on to you, or, uh... Nah, he was okay during his death scene. I mean, he turned good guy then, so it's like, coolness meter was down, but it wasn't the end of the world. It's, okay, like, Tell I Tell the story. Tell the story of when you saw it. What? When I saw I what? remember you, about the first time you saw that movie. And that scene. What you did. I... And how you felt. Inside. In the Empire Strikes Back? No, in Jedi. Oh, yeah, in Jedi. Yeah, I was like six years old <laughs> when I watched the movie. I loved Darth Vader since episode four, and my parents didn't warn me that he was going to die at the end. And so I was like inconsolably bursting into tears and sobbing <laughs> hysterically, like in the theater. Like, my parents have told me this, that I was, like, completely <laughs> freaking out because he died. And this just amuses me greatly. <laughs> I yeah. don't know why. Well, he was, like, my childhood hero. I, I loved him to death, and then he died, and I was like, ah, it was awful. And then I used to get really, really mad at my dad because he knew that he could get me really angry by saying that Darth Vader looked like Tumpty Dumpty with his mask <laughs> off. And so then I would get, like, all mad at him. And But he, he does look not very handsome. Yeah, he's a off. little grotesque. So. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so this is the first Tower of Fate stage. It's All got right. some pretty cool background music. Oh, that... so this is like the entrance to, like, we're going into... Yes, this is, yeah. Yeah, but we're, we're not in the Tower yet. Precisely. Okay, Actually, so this is it. why you were like, oh, the Tower of Fate is three stages. Yes, exactly. It's like pink, blank, oh, pink, uh, go away. and then the Tower. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, and it's very Disney villain lime greenish going indeed. on outside. Oh, God! Oh, gee, I forgot those were there. But now you know. Yeah, this stage just borrows enemies from everywhere. There's only, if I recall... One unique enemy uh, that show... I mean, technically three, but this is basically variants of the same type that show up in the Tower of Fate. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think they show up until the second stage. Uh, oh, oh okay. nice. Man, all right. Minimal deaths, please. Minimal deaths. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't even think that would fall. Yeah. Uh, all we're right. good. We're doing okay. We're doing just fine. Everything's falling. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Get over here. Ugh. So you like that movie. That's why I keep telling you that the movie, the game, game is on sale and stuff. And then oh, you're like, yeah. I don't well, want it. I mean, mostly because I don't really play Lego games that much. Because as a completionist, I know that I would take too long to... Like, I've got so many other things that I want. Like, Fantasy Life, I need to do more stuff in. I'm almost done beating all the things in Hyrule Warriors. But you well, just don't but start it. Just sorta. buy it while it's on sale and play it when you have time. I don't know. I get. I just get the feeling it'll be one of those, one of those things. That I was like, oh, I, mean, I have it this. is very completionist. Like, but they're pretty easy to complete. Like, yeah, to win, yeah, to beat. Yeah. But like, well, no, to complete too, because like those Lego games are some of the only ones that I've like a hundred percent completely completed. I remember we did. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Harry Potter. No, we did Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. The one that we did together. Yeah. Oh, see, like that one's got a pink gem inside. It's like, ooh, you know, you want to break me, and I'm like, no. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good not breaking you in front of the insta-death crushy platforms. Yeah. I think I think uh, the Lego games have an extremely special place in my heart because I've never really been, like, super getting all of the achievements type person. Mm -hmm. But Pirates of the Caribbean, Le Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, was the first um, Xbox 360 game where I got every single achievement in the game. Hmm. Yeah, and I think I've, like, gotten all the achievements in other games since then, but, like, that was the first, and so, like, since then, the LEGO games I've, like, totally loved. the genesis of your yeah. achievement missing. Yes. That's a word. I just invented it. But oh, God. <laughs> that also made me sad when in Lord of the Rings LEGO they started using real voices, because I like the pantomiming of the story without voices. I think it's funny. I remember playing, uh, I think it was the Star Wars LEGO uh, game... Mm -hmm. And uh, just some of the weird stuff 
that they did in that, trying to tell the story without having any words. Yeah, like, it's uh, so like fun. I can't remember what they did to break the engine when they finally got to Tatooine. Um, but it was it was it, it made me chuckle at the time. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. And now they can just talk. The Lego Lord of the Rings especially freaked me out because I've watched the Lord of the Rings movies like extensively. Yeah, extensively. <laughs> I'm like one of those people that bought the extended versions as soon as it happened and stuff like that. But um they use dialogue from the movies in the game and so it's so jarring for me because I know the dialogue so well to just have it happen in the middle of that. So, okay, since you know oh, since you know the dialogue well and stuff, um, when they recreate the scenes uh, with Legos, like how accurate do the scenes look compared to the movie counterparts? I can't remember off the top oh, of my head. Oh, I was wrong. They do show up. Okay, see these oh, liquid wow. ninja guys? Yeah. Yeah, they're they're jerks. These the liquid ninjas were the last thing that uh, were created by a guest director. But they weren't a boss encounter. They were just like. The enemies that show up all over the place in the last three levels. So that's pretty cool. They're uh, and they're called liquid ninjas. I believe so. I mean, they behave like liquid ninjas. Like, look, he's a he drops like oh, liquid and he's wow. samurai, or is it samurai? I, I, I don't, don't think remember. I saw them drop the first time, which was I was a bit confused. But yeah, they might not have the first time. But um, can I make this jump? Oh, oh, I so can't. Close. It was all a lie. If he had used your yeah, dagger, that guy jumped. Oh yeah. Yeah, if I had used the I dagger, I didn't know. Smart. Him. Go away. All right. Uh, let me switch to that actually. Just in, just in case. Yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah, I can't remember like how accurate it was, but I'm sure it was semi-accurate. I don't know why. Well, probably because the voices freaked me out is why I didn't bother hundred percenting the Lord of the Rings one. Didn't even need it that time. Okay. Nice. Um. Sam. Okay. Yeah. So we got these guys who shoot, and I can reflect maybe it. reflect their stuff back. If only the evil nice. Totoro wasn't there. Go away. To chomp your face. <laughs> Uh, oh, jump right into that one. Just because of the two, like the oh. two kind of ear. Well, I guess it's a samurai. It's part of the helmet. Yeah. But like, because it's pink, it makes me think of a rabbit, like Easter and stuff. Um, please stop. He's please just stop. stop. Please just he go away. Stops. Okay. I believe I can. I can't do that voice at all. Oh no, it's just gonna jump. So I gotta go like this, and then I gotta go like this, and then I gotta go. Yeah. But there's food over Get there. Get the thing. Actually, I probably just could have gone backwards, but that's fine. Okay. Is there stuff? There's a bomb here, isn't there? Yep. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Is there, there a bomb here? There? Yep, there's a bomb. Nice. Wow. Thanks, guys. It's double bombs. No it's food. It's real, real nice oh, people. Oh, no. It's a spooky it's dark It's a area. silhouette and stuff. There's a... Yeah, there's actually a, some uh, tricksy floors coming up because of the silhouette area, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Which, uh, what are you? So is this, like, actually acid rain, or is there just, like, some I, ominous green I think there's just an ominous green magical sky. Like, if oh, it was okay. acid rain, I think my uh, armor and everything else around me would be melting. But maybe it's, like, soda level of acid where it takes, like, years and years and years. Well, I guess theoretically they're like, oh, we put the tooth in the acid and it disappeared in days, or whatever. I don't remember that happening. No, there's stupid science experiments like that. <laughs> And it's like, don't drink soda, kids. I remember... Oh, want to hear something disgusting? Yeah. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to pronounce this totally wrong, but I did uh, Gish Wishes this year? It's the the thing that Misha Collins does. It's, uh, the, Why is that? Oh. It's the, great, the greatest international scavenger hunt the world has ever seen, I think, is the what the acronym stands for. Uh -huh. But um, go away. One of the things on the list this year was to get some real molars... And then do before and after pictures of them uh, after soaking in Diet Coke for like a certain amount, or normal Coke, or some sort of soda. For cer Where the frick is the. There's a way up. Could have sworn there was a way up from there. Oh, you did. You jumped up and Whatever. Then you fell back. It doesn't matter. But yeah, so that was the thing that we. Somebody. I, don't, I can't remember who in our team ended up getting the mo. Oh, yeah, so you can jump through this stuff. Who on our team ended up actually getting the molars, but like. I remember we were communicating on. Oh, God, these guys! I forgot they were here! Um. We're They're communicating on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I think the boss is coming up soon. Communicating on Facebook. We can see it And again. the uh, they said, oh my gosh, I accidentally just randomly sent uh, a message to someone on Etsy with nothing but the subject, real human molars, <laughs> because they accidentally <laughs> forgot to fill it out. Oh, wow. All right, all right. But, but, stop your meddling and turn back now. This is your last chance. I will reach her, black butt, even if I have to go through you. Oh, look who it is. It's Hinge Huntress. Black butt. <laughs> I forgot what voice I was using <laughs> it for. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Are you guarding my tower? Have you finally decided to join us? 
You may kneel and pledge your loyalty now. For the last time, I answer to no one. Huh. Very well. Here's a teeny taste of the power you spurned. So it's like, are you doing? You said no. Team up. I'm gonna give oh, you power God. anyway. She killed you. Oh, nope. she killed no, Blackbutt. No, she didn't. <laughs> she possessed him. Blackbutt. I warned you to stay away. And now we have my favorite track in the game, and a pretty cool boss fight. That hand in the background is spooky. Whoa. He's gone crazy. He's gone freaking like super duper. Oh god, I forgot. He learned how to repel <laughs> He learned how to play tennis. He can and fly. He, yes, he can. He can do a lot of things he couldn't do before. Please just don't. Come on. But he's not like possessed by her. He's just like, oh, okay, fine, whatever, and he's gonna kill you anyway. Um, like sort of. It's. It's kind of like, oh hey, I've got a crap load of power now. Oh god. Oh god. God, please no. <laughs> So why but, is he defending the tower if he's not friends with the enchanters? Um, it's complicated, and I'll try to explain it as best I can when the situation is okay. right. Okay, so like once a post-game. Well, not post-game, but like probably the last stage. Okay. Come on, die already. Thank you. Huzzah! Yay, no more meteorites for you. Yeah, that background hand and chains thing, it makes me think... I know you haven't played Dragon Age 2, uh -huh. but there's this city that's pretty much the city of slaves, and then the, there's, like, a bunch of, like, terrifying chained-up statue-type mm, things. Sounds like they need Tenaris Targaryen. Yes. Uh, you Tenaris? Daenerys? That, I can say yeah. words. This has gone far enough. Whatever you've been trying to do, you can't reach her. <coughs> oh, you may be right. She may already <coughs> be lost. But I can't let go of hope. By now, surely you uh, see who I'm trying to save. Da, 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 da. I do. <laughs> do you know a way to bring her back? I haven't tried anything beyond words. Her butt is so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't have the courage. Go, just don't hurt her, or you'll have to answer to me. Her so butt is too powerful. <laughs> That is, that, is that is amazing. Oh, shit. All right. So, that's the last we'll be seeing, or, well, the last we'll be fighting a black boy, at least. <sighs> okay, so, on the next episode, we're going to actually enter the Tower of Fate and After ascend going through it. a useless dot. After going through a useless dot. <laughs> Thanks for watching. It bothered me that there was one in front of it, too. I'll bet it did.